I mean, what else? This is this is we my favorite. Talk, okay. This is my All favorite right. part of the episode right. right here. Yep. Um, I, Stevie, I Say think it. you got some addressing to do. Say it. I think uh, we got an official goat on our hands, brah. <laughs> I think that's what we got. I think that's what we got. Twenty Novak, slams. Novak Djokovic. Yeah. Is officially. Can you look in the camera when you say that, should, please? It, it, don't you. push it now. All right. <laughs> okay. Novak Djokovic. I'll, I'll do it for all the Djokovic fans. You know they're going to be delighted. Yes, it's going to be the, it's gonna be your favorite episode yes, if, you're, right. if you're a Novak fan. Um, officially, the current greatest player of all time. Yes. Officially the greatest. And player and of all here's time. the thing. Here's the thing. And it's not because of all those secondary tertiary records and all. No. Yeah. No, it's it's exactly what it came down to last week, which is wh- or last time we talked about this, which is what are you weighing more? And we well, at least at least we talked about the fact that Grand Slams are number one, and number two. Well, is, you said that, yeah, you said yeah, for yeah. me, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Grand Slams are on number your, one, on your, and then number two is here. both uh, total weeks at number one and year year end uh, number one. Yeah, I think Djokovic has six year end number one. Uh, Nadal and Federer at five. Djokovic has more overall weeks in number one, a bunch with a bunch of other records. Uh, Federer has uh, overall titles, and now they have equal amount of Grand Slams. I think the argument is clear cut, and anybody that says that, you know, oh, he was always the GOAT, no, you're wrong. You have no idea what you're talking about. Well, it depends about. what you weigh, but. You need to weigh. Because he did have head to head. You need to and have, have you all need, those listen, things. Uh, listen, okay? Like he had, yeah, head to head, all that stuff, sure, but. At the end of the day, you need the Grand Slams. If you're going to be the greatest player of all time, you need the Grand Slams. And I think now, at this moment, it's unquestionable. Uh, coming from a, a Fed fan, a massive Fed fan. Really? I think it's, I think it's unquestionable. You're a Fed fan? No. Fuck. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know that. Uh, I'm a Marat Safin fan. Uh, that's right, Nick. And, uh, Where's the but, cigar? No, in all seriousness, I mean, he has truly changed the sport. I think his upbringing is something that, you know, is not talked about enough. The fact of that he paved the road for Serbian tennis, really former Yugoslavian tennis, right? Yeah. Um, practiced like he would have practiced that day. Then, then that night he would be in his grandfather's apartment. You know, bombs going off. Like, Had to go and yeah, underground it's, and it's, play it's, against a wall, right? Like that was like the it's, story. It's an amazing story. It's an amazing story. Um, and he is the greatest player of all time at the moment. Okay, at the moment. So well, hold on, hold on, because again, it's kind of interesting because you're having this conversation now. You know, if you ask even the like the greats, and you they, they'll literally say it's too early because it's not done yet, right? It's not done yet. We don't know what these guys. Are. We we are lucky to have lived in this era with these like the three most amazing players, and we grew up on watching these players. But it's not done yet, you know. So with Fed and Nadal. No, yeah, it's not done yet on who the greatest player of all time is. At the moment, yes, Listen, Djokovic. Okay, but, you can say that. But Djokovic, hold on, Djokovic might win ten, another 10 Grand Slams, right? Djokovic may never win another Grand Slam. Probably not. We'll okay, talk about that later. I'm, but, I'm, okay. you know, at the moment, I think, I'd say if I was a betting man, you know, Djokovic will f- probably keep this record forever and, and, and go on to pass Federer Nadal and, uh, yeah. and remain the greatest player of all time it's just hard for me to like even did you enjoy that by the way i love that yeah. every second of that okay. yeah i i absolutely love that Good. no but it's hard for me and i'm not even a Djokovic fan like i don't no. i don't i'm not even like mm-hmm. i'm not even big listen on, respect where respect is due but no, no, no i'm, I'm glad respect, you, I'm glad respect you, is due yeah no 100 percent. but the, the the reason why it's kind of like to me it's like it's over is because look like yes you're right he may never win another grand slam not gonna happen Mm-hmm. He's gonna win another one. Yeah, and, like and you with said, a bunch we'll of other more that. ATP Master One Thousand. Yeah. he's gonna he's won it like twice now. Every single one twice. Yeah. he's gonna win it three times. Yeah, for the, yeah, yeah. No, of course. But when you have him beating uh, uh, Rafa on clay in the French Open, yeah, it's like all right, mate. No, listen, like too good. He's the same player. Like, that's it. He's the same player. Let's not get yeah. that twisted. He's the same player that just won French Open. Yeah. Where I said that at the moment, Federer is yeah, yeah. by like by a nail holding that biggest player, <laughs> because he again you can't, for at least for me, a, a significant part of that factor is Grand Slam. 